You have sent me your random crap shelf. They look sad that they're being weighed down by your dead flesh. Uh, you get an F as a person. I wouldn't know because I don't associate with those type of people. For the love of God, this is like my strange addiction, but worse. I thought it would be a one-time thing. I put out into the world that you should send me your bookshelves and I would give them a little roasting. But you masochistic weirdos have made it one of my best performing videos of all time. So that means it's not a one-time community event, but a new series. That's right, I will be roasting your shelves here on the channel whenever I feel the desire to. And if you'd like to have your shelf put into the mix, all you have to do is follow me on Twitter and wait for me to tweet on out that it's roast in time, and I will get to it. But now, without any further ado, let's start the new series, Goblin Guy Roasts Your Shelves Cause You Asked Him To, He Feels Guilty When He's Too Mean And Is Nervous About Crossing The Line, But He Still Does It Cause It's Fun And You Like It. The show. And I will have a special shelf to roast right at the end. Okay, we're starting off with James here. James, it's a bookshelf. I like the aesthetic of it. It's actually quite pleasing to look at, but I have one major question. Is that a pig in BDSM gear? Because it looks like it is. I'm not judging. I'm only asking the questions. The boat as well matches my boat. That's up there right now. I do believe mine is better, fight me. And you have a inclination towards justice. Okay, nice. It's a decent collection. I get the feeling you're going to remove the nickage knackage as more books are added. I would say right now, it's a little jarring how much it's book than knickknack. I would rearrange. Overall, solid C+, mainly because the Pig and BDSM gear is just very interesting. I don't know where this is going and I'm definitely curious. This is impressive. I like this. What we have is a sword on the wall to complement a fantasy shelf. It's a little cliche, it's a little overdone, but I can't even judge that hard. I got a wizard staff for Christ's sake. But it's an impressive collection, decent amount of knickknackage, no Funko Pops are jumping out at me, I appreciate it. Some Wheel of Time, some Cosmere, First Law, Expanse. It's Dune, got a lot going on. I will just ask, what's in the box? What are you hiding? What's in the box? This is a B minus, but if there's dead bodies in that box, that's a solid S. Anyway. So what's in the box? Mike, you have not sent me your bookshelf. You have sent me your random crap shelf. You have an impressive collection of books, but you have inflated its presence with a mixture of CDs, vinyl, Muppets, Foghorn Leghorn, which I love me some Foghorn Leghorn, Star Wars thingies, and the only redemption I can say is there is no Funko Pop. And okay, again, what's in the box? Why do so many of you have mystery boxes? I'm confused. What's in the f***ing box? D plus, because this isn't a bookshelf, but there is enough books to like be bordering. Take your, take your Muppet Star Wars things out of the box. Like what? It's not, it's not a precious family. Just f take it out of the box. Okay, Aaron. You have Breach of Peace pulled out and displayed to try and win me over, and it's getting you bonus points, thank you. But I'm a little confused by the uh, not just complete lizard creature, but also severed head of an alligator. If it was just the severed head, I'd let it go, but it's, it's two. That's not an accident. What's your, what did lizards do to you? And a jar of fluid. Mary, I, uh, this is the worst way I have ever seen someone try and get extra space on a show. Well, actually, is it kind of smart? I can't, I don't know. Oh, you have Funko Pops. Okay. You can't rise above a D plus, but it's kind of smart because at least this way you see them all. It's aesthetically very awful, but in terms of practicality, it tells me you're more concerned with actually getting the books out and being able to read them because you want to see what's there. So I'm giving you bonus points and I'm actually going to raise you up to a C minus. The Funkos are bringing it down, 
but you've done something I have literally never seen before. I respect it. Good on ya. Good on ya. Wow, that's weird. Okay, Ben, it's a minimalist shelf. You have decorations behind the book, which I'm not a huge fan of, though aesthetically, it's very pleasing. But it's a little soulless. It looks like this setup would be in an Ikea and like those little mock-up rooms they have that are like, here's what your room could look like. And it doesn't tell me anything about you. This is the beige of bookshelves. It's very personality-less. I can't say words though, so who am I to judge you? What is there of you in your shelf? Or is there nothing of substance of you? Oh God, that felt too harsh. Didn't mean to give someone an existential crisis. Well, it's a roasting. Lewis, still in the process of replacing or restoring my books damaged by a fire. Can't roast them more than that. <laughs> oh, but I can you. Because you failed your books. Why didn't you run in and save them? How could you? They just wanted to provide you with entertainment. You failed your books. He was your son. Okay. Okay, Emma, you're... You're sending me mixed messages, and let me tell you why. You've put a lot of effort to making this aesthetically pleasing. The green flowing into the yellow, flowing into the red, then down into the blue, into the black, back to red and white. There's so much time to really try and make this nice, and not a lot of care of properly stacking them in a way that's actually how books should be handled. But I will say it's an impressive look and a good level of knackage. But it's inside of a cabinet you close? What kind of repurposed hell is this? Why would you ever close off your books from the world? That tells me you leave them in shadow and darkness for long stretches. I wanna save your books from you. D minus, uh, no, the knackage is good and it's uh, D plus. Okay, this is as confusing as your username. So what you have is a Spider-Man flat brim next to a Russian nesting doll, next to a Triforce, next to a f***ing Christmas decoration with a giraffe dog staring at me. You've just like taken a shotgun of your life's shit and shot it at your shelf. Um, for me, this is D. The best I can give you is a D. Dude. Dust! Take care of your home is my roast for you. And they're not even all stand up straight. They look sad that they're being weighed down by your dead flesh. And also, what's this tarp? Put put that, fold it up and put it away. D minus. Okay. Can we address the fact that some people don't understand that a bookshelf, you need to be able to get the books out from the shelf, and I don't want to have to rearrange action figures for five minutes just to do so. So this, again, D minus. For the love of God, monitor your knackage. I'm conflicted by this. Okay, the Funko Pop made me much more certain in my evaluation. Aesthetically pleasing, it's not the most impressive collection, but I get the feeling you've read all these books, unlike a lot of people who are posting shelves full of books they have never read, and these all mean something to you. I don't like that it's next to a bunch of electronics, I do believe in separation there. You've got a Funko Pop, but then there's like a good, just overall thought out layers to this. It's next to video games. I'm gonna give you a C. I'm feeling generous for some reason. This is a C. Don't put creepy ass dolls on your shelf. It looks like the books are trying to get away from it because they agree with me. It's the severed head of what looks like a, a baby or a woman. I can't tell. That is genuinely horrifying. Also, get your cable management game up. What are you doing? Uh, D. Also, organize whatever's on top here. God, you, you know you're sending it to me. Put five minutes of effort in to straightening some <laughs> out. Books in cabinets again. What is wrong? They want to be in the light. They want to be read and to breathe. You're putting them in a sarcophagus of pain. Ugh. And there's another mystery box. You gotta show me what's in your boxes. Now I'm just concerned. You tell me, you tell me. It's gonna try. I'm gonna be thinking about it tonight. I am very confident in diagnosing this person with attention deficit disorder. D. I, I for some reason feel like this bookshelf reflects your heart quite well. Largely empty and full of capitalist crap. Okay, we have a clear hardcore fantasy fan here. 
Uh, they have swords adorning the top of the shelf. I can appreciate that. It looks like some classic fantasy art. Wheel of Time section. You're buttering me up. I enjoy it. Some more things. A good level of knackage. You know what? This is the first one I'm feeling pretty good on. This gets a solid B. This is, feels like it reflects the person. It's not overly manicured. This is a B shelf. Good on ya. Luke, another solid entry. I like the layout and books more than I like the physical shelf. I found the physical shelf rather boring, but you've done a lot with the space. It's crowded, but it's not too crowded. Respect. This is gonna be a B minus. <sighs> Jack, the fact that you put Gideon the Ninth, next to a field of Funko Pops, uh, you get an F as a person. S tier. I, I for some reason just actually love this. Homemade by your dad. This is magnificent. I don't like the animal skin on the wall. I hope that's fake. But aside from that, very aesthetically enjoyable shelf a large collection of quality content. I don't know what some of these things are, uh, but overall, I'm impressed in the fact that it's made by your father. A whole other layer of appreciation. Uh, I'm going to give this an A. This is a solid A approach. And aside from some side stacking, which makes me want to uh, violently vomit, it's it's good. This is S tier. I. I'm not even talking about the shelf. It's just the cutest cat and I love him and it's S tier. I, I'm not even, I don't care about your shelves. That's an S tier. I want you to take a day for yourself. I just look at this and I know in my core that you need a day off. Very impressive. A decent level of board gameage. I will accept a nice layout of the books. Good knickknackage, bordering on too much. I like your shelves. This is nice. Solid A+. Plus. This gets A+, plus for me. Though I will say, it's coming off kind of try hard. I don't know why I feel the need to say that, but I do. This is so much. I feel physical pain and a weird sense of enjoyment. There is love here. There is a passion for literature, but there's also pain. Looking at your second photo, I'm not entirely sure if you understand how shelves are supposed to work, but I I have a strange amount of affection for what you've crafted. I'm gonna give you a B plus and, and just make more shelves out of the books you got. That's the best advice I can give you because dear God. And donate some that you're not gonna read again. That's fine. I didn't, you, I take back everything nice that I said and I hope that you die in a vat of melted Funko Pop. F minus. That's actually gonna start being advice I give to more and more people. One, die in a vat of melted Funko Pop. And two, donate books, guys. People need books and that's a great thing to do. Okay, you told me it's organized by author last name and you felt the need to lead me arrows like I would be incapable of figuring it out? Um, I feel talked down to, but this is a solid C plus shelf. I, I know how left to right works. Thank you. This is a very impressive shelf, but I spotted your double stacking immediately and you get a C minus for that. Good God. Uh, wow. All right. Um, this is just a lot. If I walked into a room, I would immediately approach this shelf and begin exploring it like it's the jungles of the Amazon. I I'm not sure how I feel about the amount of dangly lights and what you've chosen to do with them. The knickknackage is a bit much, but I'd be lying if I said this wasn't a very impressive shelf. Solid B. I feel like the owner of this bookshelf has great taste in literature but has never truly found themselves as a person. <laughs> it's a B plus shelf. Ah, someone who seems to have forced their cat into the shelf. This is nice. This is nice. You're not the best photographer, but that's fine. But what we have here is I like your layout for what I think are clear favorites. Um, it's a little disorganized. You have snacks uh, mixed in with the books, which is a, it's a first. That's a first, I like it. And this just strikes me as my book collection when I was a lot younger. Uh, so I see the chaos, but I see seeds of greatness. You're at a C plus now, but I have a feeling in the future you'll have a great shelf. This is immensely aesthetically pleasing. This is 
beautiful. There's a lot of personality. I like how your highlights kind of come along the edges. You have not mixed in your CDs. Don't love the side stacking, but I get why it was needed here. It's actually for spacing reasons. Oh, you did the double stack. God, I thought this was gonna be really good. <sighs> A B plus is the best I can do. 15 minutes and you could make this look a lot better. C minus. This is sleek. This is someone whose brain is hyper organized, but you do not have an attention to detail on the level of some people. And I know that because you have some leaners up here that you've left unchecked. What are you gonna do about these leaners? This is a solid A though. This is a great shelf. Immensely aesthetically a pleasing very nice display. I'm not as negative on the top stack as I am to the side stacking or the back stacking, so I can accept it. This is this is good. Best I can do is a solid B minus, but it's good. I genuinely want to know. I want actual answers here. Do you think the Funko Pops look good? I just like, I don't understand. So let me walk through what I imagine an interaction with someone who has Funko Pops goes like. I wouldn't know because I don't associate with those type of people. You like walk into the room and your bookshelf's there and someone's like, oh, nice bookshelf. And then you go, yes, here are some of my favorite books. Also, here is some cheap plastic, weirdly large headed representations of characters I enjoy. Um, and I've blocked the art of the book with this ugly plastic. Would you like to bobble its head? What, why? What is the purpose of this? I've never seen someone successfully craft their book addiction into a actual book mount doom. But you've done that. I feel horrible for your collection, but you've done it. Yay? D plus, cause I'm kind of just impressed. This is not fair. You literally have a security camera watching your shelves because you know how much of an investment and piece of art this is. Obviously, this is S tier, but you're batting at a level that's not fair for everyone else. You have a f***ing ladder, you cheater. Okay, yeah, you get the S, you should be happy with that, but don't feel pride. Rachel, go f*** yourself, seriously seek help for the love of god this is like my strange addiction but worse because you're like proud and putting it online i would leave someone's home if this is what they showed me and was like the centerpiece like this is your personality on display and it's like what's the centerpiece of my home God, this is just bland for some reason it's like you just did your job and you put them on the shelf but there's no love here there's no attention to putting any of you on your bookshelf. It's it's just the minimal effort of keeping them organized and nice. This is the definition of bland. I feel like Gordon Ramsay and I'm saying like, where's the garlic? There's no garlic of you. Oh God, I should not have said that. There's no spice of you in here. This is the definition of a C. It's completely on the average. Stop putting creepy ass dolls in your bookshelf or I will stop this series. I don't like it. It's going to be at the foot of my bed in the middle of the night and it scares the shit out of me. I, mm, no, F. Your shelf is bowing. It's about to fall to pieces. Get a, build a bookshelf out of the books if you're that desperate, cause God knows you got enough, man. It's an impressive collection, but you're not showing me any love or care for the bookshelf as it's cracking. Oh my God, someone send this man a carpenter or something. All right, that's goddamn awesome. That's a solid A plus. That's just cool. Okay, Megan. You wanted me to roast you, and you've asked me to do it twice, so I'm going to be harsh. It's very aesthetically gorgeous, right? Like, this is outstanding, but what it tells me is you care more about that aesthetic than the books themselves. The level of time and craft to put these books in what, let's be honest, is a basically random order except the color. How are you going to find the book you want to read or talk about? That's not a priority. Your priority is the aesthetic. So what I must ask is, why do you collect these books? Is it so you can read and have and cherish their stories? 
or is it for a backdrop. I don't mean it. I'm sure you're a great reader, but also, oh my god, the level of effort here is kind of insane. This is as much effort to have an aesthetically pleasing shelf as that other person put into having a army of Funko Pops watch them when they're in their home. Jackson Dickert. <laughs> It's the fact that you kept what I assume is shampoo next to it that makes this a thousand times funnier, and the fact that the shower is running. <laughs> oh my god. S tier dedication to reading at all times. And now time for a very special roasting. My good friend, Murph. How's it going, Murph? It's time for me to pass judgment on you. Overall, pretty good. I'm not gonna hate too much. It's a great backdrop for a booktuber. Obviously, she's one of the biggest in the game and she's got a outstanding collection. But what I will say is, Murph, why are so many of them leaning? You have these glossy ass covers glaring at me because your lighting is out of control. And what is this? What is this? What? I can't identify a single book here. What is, what is happening there? I don't know. Do you even know? I don't think you do. You have some things on display facing outward, but they're paperback, so they're like flippity floppin' and out. Look at this gentleman bastards. I see pages. Cardinal sin. You're a book to you're a professional. And then you have like a lot of special editions. Come on. Do you need to rub it into people's faces that we as booktubers get all these nice books? Like what kind of booktuber puts their special editions on prominent display? It's soulless. It's flexing on people for no reason, Murph. And I will not have it here in my community. How dare you? And then finally, the person themselves in front of the shelf. How dare you be so kind and supportive of my career? How dare you introduce me to your family and your husband and child and make them an important part of my life? How dare you give me a friend that I can talk to about my insecurities around my job? How dare you be one of the best parents I've ever met? How dare you set an example for every booktuber or parent or person to follow with you and your husband, Corey. Hi, Corey, I love you too. Uh, how dare, how dare? How dare, how now, brown cow? That's the end of the book roast. Anyway, everybody, like and subscribe if you have not already. I'll probably be doing these like bi-weekly or something here on the channel. And have a good one, y'all. Peace.